what is open theism? Uh, in a nutshell, I uh, t usually describe it as, as simply the belief that possibilities are real. It really comes down to that. Possibilities are real. And that God, who is omniscient, knows all things, uh, knows possibilities are real. Just like he knows that an elephant is an elephant and a monkey is a monkey and an actuality is an actuality, he knows a possibility is a possibility. It conflicts with the classical view, which held that uh, when God created the world, and actually before God created the world, from all eternity, all facts were settled. All facts were settled. So every fact of world history was resolved uh, before the world was ever created, from all eternity. And then the classical view would debate whether God resolved it by willing it, and that's the more Calvinist perspective, or whether God simply knew it was resolved, and that's the more Arminian perspective. But either way, all facts are resolved. Um, open theists simply believe that when God created the world, he created it with possibilities, unresolved possibilities. And to the degree that the world consists of unresolved possibilities, then the fact that God knows is that uh, it may go this way or that way. So it's really just the belief that possibilities are real. God created a world in which the future is to some degree open, open to possibilities. Uh, I think the reason why it's catching on more now and why I don't think it's just going to fade away is because now, I mean, people have argued it from on the basis of scripture, uh, you know, going back as far as you want. But what's happening now is that um, up to this point, the world has been much more conducive to a deterministic view than an open view. Now, however, everything's changing. I, it, we are in a new day. The science is uh, much more open to openness stuff. The categories of science are not the rigid ones that we got from the Newtonian worldview. So the ultimate gestalt of the world, at least the Western world, is changing in a way that I think is actually much more conducive to the biblical worldview uh, than the deterministic view ever was. But for that reason, the open view, I think, has a lot going for it now. Well, I, I, I think the, uh, the open view has got a, a lot of cash value when it comes to uh, uh, the life of the believer. Uh, the open view encourages people to really take responsibility for your life. Uh, the open view says that whether you pray or not, things really hang on it. Uh, it, it the future is not in any sense pre-settled. That you, we are really um, co-creators with God. Now, I want to be careful. I'm not saying that we're little gods or something like that. But, but God really empowers us to partner with him to bring about the creation that he wants. Uh, our choices really make a difference. Uh, there are things that really are at stake in what we do. And um, that is at once both a, a kind of a you know, ominous thing. It's like, whoa, things matter. But it also is what gives our life significance. Our lives really do make a difference. They really do count. Your prayers really do matter. Uh, you're important to the kingdom. And, and so uh, God needs you to stand up and live passionately and give it all you got and get in the kingdom, get in the game, and do what you're called to do.